This is Nick Fiorenz uh, reporting for Eurosatri. There's been a break in the clouds and it stopped raining, so we've been able uh, to speak uh, to a gentleman from Kaus, uh, Mafai Wegman, which, as you probably know, has this tie-up with uh, Nexter. And we were talking about the Euro MBT. Yes, hello. What you can see behind us is the first step uh, towards an European MBT. First step means um, what we did is we integrated a Leclerc turret into a KMW Leopard chassis. And what we realized here is uh, the first common product between KMW and Nexter, as well as, uh, as between France and Germany. What we did is uh, we modified all necessary interfaces on the chassis in Munich at our premises and uh, the French side, Nexta, they modified the turret at their facilities in Rouen. The integration then took place in Rouen and from the first ideas when we said, okay, let's try if it fits in general, until we did a live firing last uh, month in May, it was just 15 months. And, and the, um, the length of the, I mean, that was 15 months after the tie-up or 15 months? Uh, 15 15 months after our first talks between Nexter and KMW, shall we do it, shall we try it? From this point on, then of course we started with our engineering effort, because you cannot just take it and put it inside. We need mechanical adaptation, mecha uh, electrical adaptation, and also the driver on the Leopard chassis is sitting on the other side than in the Leclerc. In the Leclerc, the driver is sitting on the left side, and then the Leopard on the right side. And of course, this also had to be considered for our integration. And is this part of the um, project for Germany and uh, France and perhaps other European countries for the next generation uh, main, main battle tank? This is a program which we, next day in KMW, see as a further step uh, to, to reach uh, new MBTs. It will be not the final definition. It's an, uh, we have to take the advantages from the turret, which means it has an auto loader, plus the advantages of the uh, Leopard chassis, which has a very high loading capacity. So there is a growth potential, uh, which could be used for customizing turret or chassis. And uh, compared to our existing product, this is a three-man crew. Inside the Leopard currently there is a four-man crew and with this uh, switch to the auto loader, one place in the turret is deleted, so only two persons in the turret, which comes to a crew of three persons. So this would mean that Germany would have to change its uh, doctrine of uh, how to operate main battle tank? This is exactly what, what we think is a possible market. We are not talking about Germany. We are not talking about Leopard users. This is not a comp competitor to Leopard users because, as you said, they have their own doctrine. This is an alternative for armies which are not using currently neither Leclerc nor Leopard, but uh, which have or are focusing on an uh, on a, on a reduced crew of only th three members. And we're on the outside uh, display area looking at the EMBT and I have the next project leader of the program, Francois Gohani. And uh, I would like to um, maybe begin by uh, asking um, if, you, if you could maybe describe uh, the, the program. Yes, so what you have under your eyes is the merging of the Leopard chassis uh, with uh, Leclerc turret. On what is the main interest of this merging, uh, the Leo chassis has a high capability. I mean, he's able to carry up to 68 ton. On the other side, the Leclerc turret has uh, a main characteristic, which is equipped with an auto loader, which allows uh, two main crew turret. So when you mix, when you merge a high capability chassis with a light turret, you have uh, the EMBT and the, its main characteristics is to have 10% of gross potential. I mean roughly 6 ton to add different equipment 
from this basis, the customer will be able to add different equipment to put it to his hands and customize the tank. Can you uh, describe um, how the project uh, proceeded, um, how it was integrated and where, please? Uh, yes, um, we started in 2017 by an engineering phase and then uh, we developed the interface equipment to uh, allow the merging uh, in terms of mechanical interface, vetronic interface, electrical interface and then we produce the different uh, interface equipment and at the beginning of this year we've uh, integrated the turret with the chassis and started a trial phase uh, that you can show uh, yeah, that you can see sorry in uh, in the film uh. and the integration took uh place in uh, Rouen in um, uh, Nexter from what I understand and maybe you can also uh, tell us a bit uh, about the uh, trials and the uh, firing I think. Yes, uh, the integration has been performed in uh, Rouen, the Nexter uh, production center and uh, then we've performed some trials also in France and uh, in the south of uh, Europe uh, for firing trials. Okay, For this we use these all the different means, trial means of uh, KNDS. What do you see as the future of the program? So what uh, we expect is the feedback of a potential customer on uh, the main interest of this program is would be to, would be to make a, a sort of bridge from now to uh, the availability of MGCS. MGCS, uh, you may know this program, Main Ground Combat System, which is uh, the future uh, governmental uh, French and German program. The thing is that this future tank will be available uh, until 2035. So uh, we expect from this uh, program uh, keeping industrial activities in terms of engineering and production during all this period of time and uh, consolidate our position of leader in land armament uh, equipment.